mic on. This is mic on now. Mic on. Yes, no, yes, hey. Let's see if this works. Yes, nice. Okay, so just a quick uh, backdrop here. And push the start button so I can stay on time. Uh, I work for Qualcomm. It's the world's largest wireless chipset company. Um, just to put that into context, we're, we're actually bigger than Intel now. That happened kind of late last year, mm -hmm. so it's, uh, I live and work in a wireless and mobile world. Um, a few things on entrepreneurship I'd like to talk about, three, three key points today. Um, there are actually blog posts that I've written about this, so if there's things that I've referenced and you want to go back and look at them, the, all this stuff is online. Um, but quickly about what kind of Qualcomm Ventures and what, kind of what we are, what we do. So again, you know, it's mobile only, mobile first, uh, uniquely mobile investments. Um, we are a primarily financially driven organization. Um, we've been around for 13 years, and the reason that we've stayed around for 13 years is we didn't focus on strategic initiatives, per se, and the only thing that I learned in my MBA was that strategic is a euphemism for losing money. <laughs> so we, we definitely focus focus on the cash. Clearly everything we've done is, is related to Qualcomm's core business, but I think that's, that's an important point to make. As far as the fund itself goes, um, so the US was established back in 2000 with a $500 million allocation. Europe was established back in 2007 with a $150 million allocation. And it's, it's a similar model outside of the US. Each region has approximately 100, 150,000 depending and um, We've got two people in each geographic location outside of the U.S. So two of us here in Europe, two in India, two in China, and then for our newest region, Brazil, and sorry, we have two in Brazil. We have uh, one in Korea, one in Brazil. So anyway, three. first step. Um, this is actually the Facebook, and it looks nothing like what Facebook is today with its one billion registered users. Uh, this was a small Skunkworks project that Mark Zuckerberg you know, did in this dorm room and got it out the door, and that was probably the most important point. We got it out the door. Um, if you go back, and it's actually a really great exercise, go back and Look at the first version of Amazon, for example. It's, it's absolutely hilarious. Um, they, they just give you the perspective on how far these companies have come. And go, go back and look at the, the, the Apple One and compare it to the fancy iPhones today. Um, anyway, I think you get the point on that one. Next one, this is the Valley. Um, this, this picture doesn't even really do, do the Valley justice. Uh, there, the density of connections that you can encounter, if, if you've never been there, it's, it's mind-blowing. The volume of events that happen every single night about back-end as a service, there are probably 20 meetups about that alone. Um, access to, clearly, the, 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 the very big tech players, um, which are most likely going to be your exit path. Uh, if you don't know these guys, um, they don't know you. And I know that sounds completely obvious, but they're never going to buy you if they've never met you. So, you know, hop on a plane. There, there are 1,001 different um, incubators and accelerators and uh, um, programs that take entrepreneurs to visit. F find one, you go, buy your ticket six months in advance, get the low price, go check it out. Um, I, I've been in London for the last 10 years, and so I'm, uh, I'm not based in California, even though Qualcomm is a California company. And you know, five years ago, I got pretty much the first plane to the Valley after having worked in venture capital for four years in London. And it was just astounding how, um, just how, how far ahead some of these guys actually are. So I really would encourage you to hop on a plane and go. There's, there's no substitute for it. Uh, and then finally, the controversial point, um, think, think small. This, for many reasons, is a groundbreaking piece of advertising. Um, and I, I highly recommend a book called Positioning, which is, this, this picture is referenced in that. Um, but think small. Uh, 
I think that on so many occasions you're challenged to think so big and to raise so much money and you know tier one BC and big A round, big B round, big exit, the big you don't have to do any of that stuff. Um, if, if, if you have a dream, as you know, David was saying, you, you, these, these ideas that you, know, you have to be the next Zuckerberg or whatever for it to be a success are absolutely not true. And I have one quick story, and uh, it's about, this is a secondhand story from a guy that I used to work with about one of his friends in France. And I, I told the story last night to some of the guys, um, so sorry for repeating myself. But he started off with a model airplane business, which is particularly exciting. And, you know, 100, 100 planes to start off with. And he would buy model airplanes, import them from China, remove the instructions, insert instructions in French, and he sold them on eBay. Okay, that's not the next Apple. Fast forward a few years, he slowly built the business up. He was running it out of his bedroom. And so two years ago is when I heard the story. At that point in time, it was a 5 million euro turnover business that he and his wife were running out of their chateau outside of Paris. Um, yeah, we're running this out of their chateau uh, in Paris and living a very good life, paying themselves some, some very handsome salaries. They're not worried about the big exit. They're not worried about the big VCs. Um, they, they started small and followed their hearts. Anyway, that's all I got to say. <laughs>